Hey there friends, so do you know what time it is? It's time to make another monkey recipe. What's that you ask? <laughs> it's um, a yummy cake in a mug. These mugs are not just for coffee or tea, they are for cakes um, or what we're doing today is we're making a brownie. Um, and I will leave the last one I, that I made, I'll leave the description, um, the link in the description box below. And if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. That one was really good too. Um, and today we're going to do a brownie and you can do so much with these. Um, that's why I want to do more videos like this and just like experiment and have fun. You know, and these are great when you want something sweet at night, but you don't have like anything in your house, you know, and you want something quick and like you have all the ingredients already and the microwave does the work for you, does the cooking. Um, so this one you need milk, cocoa, vanilla, salt, and oil. And then all you need besides your mug is a tablespoon and a half a tablespoon. Yeah, and uh, or sorry, half a teaspoon. And yeah, they're all set. So go grab your mugs. And the boys are home, so I'll be making one for them also. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I think this is right up their alley. Oh, you also need flour. Flour. I just need to grab it because it's a big container. I grabbed everything else but the flour. So you also need flour. So most of the stuff you already have in your cupboard. And if you want a snack, you know, seven, eight o'clock at night, you can whip it up in your mug, pop it in the microwave, and bon appetit. And I was thinking after also, well not after, but like before I did this, um, you could also, because there's like, you know, there's so much you can do with these type of recipes. You could also add vanilla ice cream on top or whipped cream. I don't have neither of those items, unfortunately. I wish I did, but you know, I'll make notes. And next time, you know, I have those ingredients, um, I will definitely do that. But I'm going to add chocolate chips also to this. And you could also, I also thought cherry pie filling would be good too. So, but I don't have that on hand either. So, <laughs> next time. But just to give you ideas, if you have that on hand, you know, yeah, have fun and just experiment in the kitchen. So let's get to it. I'm gonna grab my flour and a spoon so we can mix everything in my Mando and Grogu mug. Yeah, Mandalorian. <laughs> Flour is acquired and I grabbed a spatula to mix it and a spoon for the taste testing part, of course. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so three tablespoons of flour and sugar. One, two, and three. And I'm just gonna grab sugar from my bowl. That I just filled this morning. How convenient. One, two, and the magic number of the day is three. Okay, and one and a half. So one tablespoon and a half a teaspoon of cocoa. I'm gonna have to get more of this this on my list. I gotta get some bacon supplies and this is one of them that's getting low. Oh this is good. Okay I got the, the dates right here. September September 2024. So we're still good. But we're getting low to the point where it's like I'm gonna buy some for backup just in case. Alright what is next? A teaspoon Oh, I gotta grab a teaspoon. There's always one I forget. So add a teaspoon to the measuring spoon list. <laughs> it wouldn't be one of my videos if I like forgot something or like spilt something. So yeah. <laughs> okay, vanilla. Now it just says some salt. So, I'm just going to do like a pinch of salt. There we go. And let's see. One. 
oil. Okay. One and a half tablespoon of oil and of milk. I'll have everything down in the description box below for measurements and all that jazz. There you go. And milk. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. And that's it. But I'm going to mix it first and then we're going to add some chocolate chips. Yeah, everybody's microwave is different. So I am going to probably do. I think the last one was like a minute and a half, so I might do a minute and a half and see if that's long enough. So I'll, I'll of course let you know. There we go. Looking good so far. And just add some mini chocolate chips. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> yeah. Measure the chocolate chips with your heart, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires. That looks about right. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and I will be right back. That looks good. All right, it's in the microwave. I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing for the boys. They have the Spider-Man. And Thor, these were from Dollarama. They got them. Was it for Easter? I think last last year. I think so. Yeah, these are going to be their mugs. Okay, just going to do the same thing. One, two, and three. Repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, okay. That smells good. That's the brownie. Yeah, let me check. It smells good. It smells like it's done. Okay, I think it just needs like 10 extra seconds. I'm going to do that in a minute, but I just want to finish these two first. Okay, one and a half. One for you, one for you, <laughs> and one for you, one for you. Yes, <laughs> and my teaspoon. There we go. There we go. Okay, almost done and some salt so we go bam bam done with the salt and then oil is next <laughs> and then milk one for you one for you okay we are almost done here's a half there we go Okay. And of course, if they like these and they approve, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm going to be in the kitchen making them 24 7. <laughs> well, okay, a little bit extra milk in that one. That's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Mixy, mixy. Good. Make sure you get the bottom. Give it a good mix. Man, the endo one was the right size. <laughs> go. These are the right size to you, but the the Mando one was a little a little wider. These ones I gotta make sure the bottom is like mixed. There we go, perfect. Okay.
These two are ready for the microwave. All right, so I have one brownie muggy, and I, my microwave it took about one minute and forty seconds. We got everyone taste test that soon, and I have another one, two brownie muggies. All right, and another one, three brownie muggies. And another one for the hubby. So four brownie muggies all together. <laughs> Order up. Don't forget to tip your waitress. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> all right, so here is a nice close-up. Looks really good. Let's give it a little taste test. Casey says it's good. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. I just need ice cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you can do so much with the brownie one, and I was even thinking while well, I was making the hubbies, he did get one also. Oh, yeah, you saw that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you know, you know the brain likes to check out once in a while. It was on, you know, break. <laughs> so. I was thinking while I was making his, I was like, oh, you know, what would be great would be the mini Reese's Pieces that you could get at Walmart, and I'm sure you can get them at other um, grocery stores, but I've seen them at Walmart, and I'm not sure if, if uh, No Frills has them. I haven't really looked at No Frills. Um, and I did have a bag, but I used it in my birthday cake, so that would be really good in this, too. So yeah, the ideas are like never ending what you can do with um, the brownie one. Mm -hmm. Or any one. Yeah, they were fun to make. Mm. That's really good. We have a pumpkin plant. <laughs> Henry had a birthday party a couple weeks ago. And uh, he got a goodie bag, a favorite bag, yeah. and he got, Moose Call, <laughs> and he got um, a few bags of candy and a squishy ball and a small pack of Uno cards. Um, this, this small. Um, don't play Uno with your kids, though. No. <laughs> because they get a little bit too much joy when they make you pick up four or more yeah <laughs> it's it's fine and, and the apple doesn't fall, fall far far from the tree because i was like that too yep <laughs> uh, but yeah that was one of his favorite because i guess the dad um likes gardening so um they got to pick pumpkin tomato or a bean one he picked the pumpkin one so this will be the only vegetable plant that we plant We'll have to figure out where to put it. We have, we have tried pumpkin before, but we were not successful. So we'll see if this one does any better. I'm not sure. I'm not going to plant it right now. I'm going to wait till it could defend itself against, you know, squirrels, and uh, yeah, let it get a little bit bigger. But yeah, a little pumpkin plant, and he's been watered. So, um, but we do have, I do have it in a bay window to get some sun. I have to bring it back in here so my plant eater, who is black and white and furry, Miss Lois there, likes to munch on plants for a snack. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I'll show you, that. I have to show you, my, we planted the Black Eyed Susans, and when we came home from my sister's, I set the bag on the table by the computer, and right away, pew, there she was, mm -hmm. trying to bite them. She didn't though, but yep, yep, she was there. She's like, oh, you brought me home a plant snack. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll go show you. Well, I snack on this. <laughs> All right, so here is Taco's little memorial garden. So that's where I decided to put the Black Eyed Susans and my very... <laughs> a sad 
marigolds. Um, I did have four, but like I mentioned before, um, a squirrel attacked them and I'm not sure what happened to one. So they should grow back. The roots are there. We'll just water them and, and hopefully they grow back. And um, that's a stepping stone that kind of like broke. We, we're just going to leave it there for now. Uh, I asked Casey if he wanted to move it, but he wanted to leave it. Um, and that we got at a yard sale a couple weeks ago for $3. And Casey picked it out specifically for um, Tacos Memorial Garden. So perfect. It looks good. It looks really cute. And uh, I think everything turned out really good. And I can't wait for these to grow. And they come back every year and they will come back, you know, bigger and bigger, of course. And Maybe one year this will all be full of black-eyed Susans. Yeah, and as you can see, look at Mr. Squirrel. Yeah, evidence. Yeah, yeah. I gotta call CSI. Uh-huh, yeah. They get really well-fed in this neighborhood, those squirrels, too well-fed. I'm always finding peanut shells. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> are we having dessert before dinner? Of course we are. Life is too short. We have dessert <laughs> before dinner. Mm -hmm. Spoiler supper. <laughs> Who cares? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm. And next time, when I have ice cream, because we are heading into ice cream weather, and I'll be buying it soon. I'll probably buy the big, the no name one, the big like one liter. I think it's like one liter. And um, yeah, I'll buy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like so much. There's a lot you can do with a recipe like this. Yeah, you can have fun with it. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to finish this. And um, spoil my supper <laughs> I'm an adult I'm allowed to <laughs> yeah and the kids just came home from school so it's an after-school snack yeah which I'll probably be making like over and over again I'm not sure if Henry likes it he hasn't tried it yet so I don't know he might but he is my picky one so you never know with him mm-hmm Sometimes I think he's gonna like it and he doesn't. And then there's times where I think he's not gonna like it and then he likes it. So that's why you never know. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so I hope everyone is having a lovely day. I'll see you guys next fun video. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit, making a muggy, a brownie muggy. I hope you make one. They're really, really good. And um, I will definitely be making this one again. And I will have fun with it next time. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see you guys next time video. Take care. Be blessed. And ta-ta for now. Bye.